Let's make another advanced filter macro. What I'd like to do is create a macro that automatically does the Crypt2 filter. So I'm going to my Developers tab and I'm going to record a macro. I'll call that macro Crypt2 filter. One word because I'm not allowed spaces. I could assign a shortcut key but I won't for now and I want to store this macro in this workbook. And the description is it basically does an advanced filter and filters records from the list named target list that match the criteria named crypt2. And OK. Now I want to record going to J7. Even if I'm already there, still click it. Then I want to press Ctrl asterisk to select the current region. And then press the delete key to delete the data. I then want to click back on J7 and do an advanced filter. So I'll click the advanced filter button and I'll copy to another location. The list is called target list and the criteria is called crit2. And I want to copy the results to J7. So here's my advanced filter and OK. Now I want to stop recording, so I click the stop recording button on my developers tab. And now I want to create a button, so I'll insert a shape. And I'll insert a basic shape, which is a rectangle beveled shape. I'll drag and create a button. And then I'll just type filter regions and actual values. And control E is center. I've made my macro, I've made my button, now I connect the two. Right click the button and assign the macro crypt2 filter. And OK. If I then click away from the button and click the button, I can test it's working. But let's just change some values. Again, I would like to put Auckland, Hamilton, Christchurch, and Wellington and then click my button. And as you can see from the information here, there's a lot less records that match these actual values for these particular regions. So I've made another macro and a macro button.